turned out so freaking good. This turned out so good. Alright, so I accidentally bought all of the Captain plugins. It was a total mistake, but figured I'd make the most out of it by making a series of reviewing each and every single plugin in this bundle. And if you've not been following the series, don't watch this video yet. You've got like four other videos to watch. I made a playlist on the individual videos for you to check out in this series, as well as annotations on the screen popping up for you to click on. So if you are at the point of the video of Captain Beat Epic, there will be an annotation at the top right corner for you to go click on to go check out that video. Now, Captain Plugins is not one plugin. It's actually a bundle of many different plugins, all made by Mixed and Key. They include Captain Chorus, Captain Melody, Captain Beat, Captain Deep, and Captain Play. Not necessarily in that order. And this is the Captain Plugins Epic Bundle. So all of these are the best version possible with a lot more features than the regular base version. This plugin was designed to get rid of beat block by using an algorithm to create an idea for you to build off of, in a way that makes you still feel like it's your own original unique idea. Now these are not the first MIDI creation plugins, but I definitely feel they are the best. So before we get into everything, I do want to say thank you guys so much for following this series, it was a blast to make. If you enjoyed it and you're here for the last video of the series, drop a like for me down below, it helps me out a lot. Comment which one of these plugins is your favorite, and subscribe for more future content. Now let's start today off with Captain Chords. And uh, for the idea I've got today, let's go into something a little bit more higher, like uh, F maybe. Let's go over to rhythm. Um, top 20 should be fine. What is this? I don't think that's quite what we're looking for right now. That would work out really well, but I want actual chords, not just uh, a rhythm like this. I don't want the rhythm at all, actually. This is a lot better. I like this one a lot more. Oh, I lost it. What the hell? Yeah, that'll work. And just out of curiosity, I want to see if I want to have anything for like rhythm. Just, just want to see. Yeah, we're just gonna stick to the original on chord change. Maybe play around with some other sounds too. Sounds like Zelda. <laughs> I stick with my guns here and stay with the synth strings three for now. Captain Beat Epic for the drums. I wanna fix the velocities for the drums real quick. Let's make our own pattern, man. Screw it. I don't want everything to be automated. better that is that is indeed better what else do i want here man i right, so we've got our first drum pattern down and yes we're doing more than one today but now we can finally move on with our melody here so in the video that we did about Captain Beat, we went through all the different ways how to make a jump pattern inside of that plugin. My favorite thing about this plugin is being able to switch through any of the different packs already loaded in here and combining them to get very unique different sounds. And also just how easy it is for bridges, you know, in the video that we made, I showed you guys an already finished beat where I just slapped on this plugin and made a bridge using these drums and it worked out so great. And we are not done with this plugin yet, but we'll get to that in a few more minutes. Now the reason why we went from the chords to the drums as opposed to the chords to the melody like usual is because I wanted to really set a tone for what I wanted this track to sound like. As I mentioned before, I'm a very drum focused producer, so getting that vibe and getting that groove really helps me find out the direction that I want to take a track. But with all that set up, it's time for a melody. 
All right, this is probably my favorite plugin in the entire bundle. It is the absolute best for inspiration out of all of these here. I really do enjoy Beat Epic and Chord Epic, but Captain Melody is on its own separate level for me. By pressing one button, it gives you four bars of a very interesting idea that you can build off of and make your own. That combined with the amazing presets and integration with the Captain Chords Epic makes this an absolute powerhouse and fixes a lot of the problems that I have when it comes to making beats. And one of the new features in this plugin is the ability to lock notes, which is a serious game changer, because once you find a small little part that you like, you can lock those notes and see how it would build off of it from there, which we did do in this individual video in the series. But not only that, I actually got a comment on that video from Russell Edwards, saying that he'll actually import his own MIDI that he's created, lock some of the notes that he wants, hit refresh, and see how the plugin completes it from there. I think it's a very creative way to use this plugin. I have not tried it personally, but just want to share that with you guys, because I think that could be a hidden gem there. Using Captain Melody Epic, it already knows that we're in the key of F minor, so that's great. So here's one thing that we could not talk about in the individual videos because we didn't have the same plugins on each one. Now that we have Captain Chord Epic with Captain Melody Epic, these will follow the chords so it won't be clashing that much. I'm gonna try and do something similar here that we did before and uh, just try and do something short and sweet. <laughs> Okay, definitely got some inspiration from this one. I do want a different lead though. No, that's not it. What am I what am I trying to think of here? That's okay, that was better. Okay, and then same thing we did over there, but leave that one how it is right now. Get a little bit more variety near the back half of this. I don't like that part. I think this one, get rid of you and then maybe just drag this one on out, maybe? Interesting. Okay, I think that we've actually made some room here for a counter melody. I want something more like the offbeats over here. That's kind of tight. I like that. It's different. It's very 80s right now. It's very 80s. But before I get out of control here, let's actually move on to Captain Deep Epic over here. Get a baseline going. All right, so in the Captain Deep video in this series, I had some pretty harsh words for the plugin. And I'm here to say that I was wrong and I was far too harsh on it. It's actually a very good, useful plugin. Like the second that I made that video public, I actually left a comment down below saying that I shouldn't have been that harsh on it and that I would explain it in this video here. I did have Captain Play in there as well, but those don't communicate together like at all, I don't think. But having Captain Chords and Captain Deep, it almost feels like a necessity to have both of those combined. My complaint was that the baseline was very boring and uninspirational, but that simple idea becomes way more inspirational when you have it in the root notes of your chords because it communicates with Captain Chords so well. So all the points that I made in that video are still valid on its own, but I think if you have Captain Chords and Captain Deep together, it's a very, very good pairing and makes this plugin so much more versatile. And it's got amazing bass presets from guitar and key basses to amazing 808s and synth basses. Which is great because if you're using this, then your 808s will never be out of tune. Which in this day and age is very, very important. It's actually not a bad bass line so far, but let's try and do some other stuff too. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I was actually not sure how this beat was gonna turn out. Like halfway through it, after we got done with the chords and the drums, I was like, this beat's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to restart this video. This is turning out pretty freaking good. I'm liking this so far. Right, before we add any more melodies, any more drums, any more anything, I'm gonna export all the stems, as much of the MIDI as I can as well. And we're gonna start laying this beat down and arranging it into a loop. And then we'll start adding some more stuff onto there. All right, so I do want the MIDI here. So like we were doing in the videos, putting this over here, onto the plugin, and then unticking play music from plugin. And doing that with the rest of them as well. I think for the drums though, I'm gonna want all of them stemmed out. 
that's gonna kind of suck. <laughs> I do gotta say, this is probably the most annoying part about doing this, but I still think it's worth it. I want to be able to have full control over my mixing. All right, and then finally, unticking play music from plugin, not getting rid of it though. But then also, whenever I do this, I do want to normalize everything as well, once again, just so I can, it's all about mixing, man. Mixing has become like number one priority for me. Okay, going over here to pattern one, splitting everything by channel, and now we can finally get done with this arrangement. I wonder, I have, I ever so wonder if I make this unique, if I put it down an octave, if that'll sound any sort of good. I think if we want to do that, we gotta suck out. I think if we want to do that, we've gotta EQ out some of that low end. It's very heavy in there, and I don't, I don't like that for this. Alright, so I wanted to have a bit of fun in this video by doing a bit of a switch up here. I love combining two completely different genres, like an 80s synthwave beat with a hard trap beat. I'll be going through a few different tips that I have when combining these two different genres, and the different sound selection for each one. I think the most beneficial thing here is simple drum patterns sound way more interesting with this much variety when switching through two different genres. So let's see how that turned out. Now I want to do something a bit different here, get rid of all the drums all together, go back to Captain Beat Epic over here, play music from the plugin again. I still like it. And then I want like a crash or something. Okay, that's fine. Once again, I have to now track all these out. So I finally exported everything over here, normalized it, mixed it inside of the uh, mix over here. And I think I can finally show you guys what it sounds like. But for a trap beat, I don't want to sound that full. You know, whenever I'm going from like a synthwave beat or anything electric to something more like trap or hip hop, I like there to be a very clear, distinct difference other than just the drums. So the first thing I can do is get rid of the chords. <laughs> And that already sounds pretty good, right? Next thing I can do is to fill out the empty space over here, make this one unique. And uh, I don't want there to be no note right here, so I can just go ahead and do something like this, I think. I want more time with the trap though. I want more time to sit with that and not just let it go right back into the synth wave. What I can do is go over here, duplicate that, but then also cut this one in half and then duplicate that. That's just so we don't have the fill going on every single four bars, I think it might get kind of annoying. For the trap part over here, I actually want to get rid of the Captain Deep right here, just that bass that we have for the synth wave. And then we'll go and replace it with another one and then find a different pattern. Love that. Export the MIDI onto that one right there. This is actually so tight. This is so freaking good. And why not? We'll just, we'll find a new sound for the trap part as well, okay? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, whenever, like, whenever going from two completely different genres like this one, it almost, like, whenever I go back into trap, it sounds, I want to sound like someone's, like, whispering, in a sense, you know, like, we're, like, really quieting down for some freaking reason, I don't know. So I 
I think at this uh, this preset right here inside of the Captain Melody plugin sounds kind of like like a hushed tone. I don't know, but I think it sounds really good and exactly what I'm trying to go for. This turned out so freaking good. This turned out so good. No, it crashed and I didn't save. And just like that, we're fine once again. Thank God for backup saves because I would have lost a lot of projects by now. I'm terrible at saving sometimes. That was the most like casual crash I've ever had before though. <laughs> All right, so five videos later and a lot more experience with these plugins, I can honestly say that this was a happy accident. Even though I did not mean to buy this bundle, I'm very happy that I did. Out of all the things out there that claim to get rid of beat block from sample packs to MIDI packs or anything like that, I really feel this is the biggest tool for getting rid of beat block, and I really do mean that. It will give you insane creative inspiration for your next track. And not only that, I think it's the most non-cheating way to make loops, for those of you that think that sampling is cheating, which it's not. Because if you go back to any of the times that I used Captain Melody, the initial melody is really not that great but it has one or two great ideas in there that you can build off of. And because I changed the MIDI so much by getting a small little idea with like three different notes on there and I switched up the melody completely, I'm comfortable with saying this is my own unique original idea. And it does not feel like I'm cheating in the slightest. But again, I don't think that using loops is cheating. And I've used other MIDI creation plugins before, but they feel kind of random with no direction. But Captain Plugins really does feel like the most refined MIDI creation plugin. With its genre selection and algorithm, I feel produces the most usable <laughs> melodies. And also, once again, amazing presets there and also the ability to integrate that with any of your other plugins already downloaded in your DAW. Like they didn't even need to do that in this plugin, but they let you do that anyway. So it's just like brownie points for them. All right, this was honestly the most fun series that I've done in a, in a long while. And I'm gonna be sad to see it go. So if you guys have any other recommendations on any other plugin bundle series that I can do, then go and drop it down below in the comments. And once again, I did create that Captain Plugins playlist for you guys down below to get caught up on everything if you've not seen a video in this series. But that's finally going to be it. That's all that I've got for you guys here today. So thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.